Hello, hello, here is copper, silver, and steel. Welcome back to another video of my off-grid series. In today's episode, I will give you a detailed review and setup instruction for this MBBT wind solar hybrid system from China. So if you are interested in, just stay tuned and we will start very soon. Alright, so at the beginning I would like to announce that this is not a sponsored video. I have paid full price for this product because I would like to make an honest review for you. Okay, so let's start from the connection. First, the producer said that you should connect the braking system, so the braking resistor, damp load. So you are connecting red to plus of D and black for minus D. Of course, if you switch there, yeah, nothing happened because this is just a resistor. So the current flows in here and gives some hit because when the braking will apply. So you are connecting damp. At the next step you are connecting battery this particular version is uh, 12 or 24 volts but there are also version 24 and 48 so make sure that this is compatible with the voltage of your battery in my case I will be connecting it into my lithium-iron phosphate uh, batteries 24 volt system connected in series so we are connecting plus and minus into battery positive and negative. If you have a solar panel, you are connecting it here into solar plus, solar minus. The maximum voltage on this particular 60 watts um, model is only 50 volts. So pay attention not to overdose with the voltage. But my um, today's presentation will be with the wind turbine. So you are connecting free wire alternating current system of your wind turbine directly here u v and w so l1 l2 l3 depending on where do you live here is our wind turbine this is my servo motor which you could see on another video so when i'm uh, connecting it into bike to generate energy and so on all right, so why I decided to buy this things and what are the pros and cons at the beginning? Well, first, if you take a look at this, this is a very compact device. So if you have solar and wind sources, for example, in your car, camper, camp trailer, whatever, or just in a house, uh, but this uh, low um, energy, uh, low power, basically 600 watts is only for two or three panels, two maybe uh, will be more appropriate or one panel and small turbine for your needs so i would say it is more for um, mobile applications not a stationary use in a house in house but the compact size and the rectifier and everything is just hidden in here so you don't need a cable like in my last project what i was showing uh, you mm, you can see it here so a lot of cables everything is uh, outside but here everything is hidden and basically this is really good connection so after connecting the free wire system here the order doesn't matter because this is alternating current you could uh, switch the battery on um, I have a switch in here uh, because it is only for testing purposes so when you start the device you will see uh, the following screen as you can see now the load is active sorry something is wrong with my uh, zoom all right so the light started and as you can see the current production from wind is zero and from solar is zero but now I'm starting to rotate my alternate my wind turbine so I am producing about one or two <laughs> watts of energy but as you can see the rotor is start spinning and there is no charging oh now we have some charging but of course the current is absolutely minimum um, this is high voltage um, wind turbine alternator let's call it but uh, for the winds uh, rpm where we have around maybe 500 rpm the voltage will be compatible with this battery so it balances it 
and using PVM because for the wind it uses only PVM but I can feel that if I am taking um, just give me a moment right so maybe it, it will may be difficult to record in uh, one hand but if I take a, a drill on the first gear we will have uh, about 400 rpm and now if I'm giving more I feel the resistance uh, pretty well so the load uh, is modulated in some way probably this is the PVM algorithm it's not a direct connection using rectifier into battery because even on a small voltage maybe there is a step up um, uh, or back up um, system but even on a lower voltage than the battery voltage there it is able to um, give some current into batteries so I was checking it also with amp meter and basically it's true all right so let's take a look about the configurations what are the possibilities of the device well so this is a charger uh, when you can set the over voltage lower voltage and back to load voltage so you get also loads which is nothing more than the output of the battery but it is controlled by the uh, by this controller so if the voltage is too low uh, we don't want to drain the battery completely so it disabled the loads so in the solar basically everything will be the same like with the wind i mean there will be mppt used but there is, a, there is a topic for another video I would don't want to test it now because I don't have strings for 50 volts I have uh, 120 volts for my 24 volt system and 200 volts DC PV input for my 48 volt system but let's go to the menu so basically if you are operating in view mode this is view mode you are changing some parameters you get daily production uh, you get power, voltage from PV, etc, etc. I don't want to discuss all the... Um, this is the voltage from wind right now. So now I'm doing some rotation. And as you can see, I am able to do even 30 volts using only my bare hands without any you know, uh, ratio gears, etc so uh, this is view mode you are switching some view modes like in any solar inverter and see the current load the wind production total daily etc and the current power which is zero of course uh, but the production is here also repeated always seen pretty cool so to enter the settings to enter the mode where you are changing some things you are pressing and holding the OK. OK, I will switch the camera. So we are switching and holding OK. And we can see the program, the preset, uh, which is, uh, in, of course, in instruction manual, you get all the presets, what they mean, etc. For example, item one in the settings is the system of the battery. Uh, it could be automatic or just go forward to go forward um, sorry to leave the menu without making any changes you are pressing and holding escape and I will enter into menu again so now I'm in the option one but I would like to go to option two because this option is crucial for your battery system well, basically, option number two is a selection of the battery type you have. And you have B0, which is user mode for advanced user, but also for testing purposes. B1 is a gel battery, B2 thermolithium battery, B3 thermolithium battery in free strings, or B4 lithium iron phosphate battery, which is for my application but if you set the lithium iron phosphate so before you won't be able to change the voltages so if we go uh, forward into other options options number three is the over discharge protection voltage it is 21 but in 
in this mode which is cool about this b0 mode you are able to change the voltages uh, if you go escape once you are going back into previous options so b1 b2 b4 as if if i change to b4 and go forward i am not able to change the low voltage or any other voltage so if you want to change the voltages the load voltage over protection you need to be in b0 and i would like to show you this b0 so a uh, default value from the last settings was 21 for uh, over discharge protection voltage uh, option number four is the uh, over discharge recovery voltage so when the load is enabled again after battery gains some power from the sun or wind and very important thing option number five is the voltage overcharge protection voltage why this settings number five is so important well basically if i spin the wind turbine now okay so if you want to save settings just press ok hold and it will be safe uh, okay so why this uh, option number five this overcharge protection is so important as you can see now i have on my battery 26.2 volts i am now in d modes i can charge the battery so i can easily turn the uh, generator and it do some charging of course minimal but this is for demonstration purposes but i was very curious how this damp load works and if it really works so basic idea when the damp loads is enabled so when this uh, circuit is closed and there will be a lot of very small resistance of this uh, i have measured it it has about two ohms only and high power about 60 watts probably um, so it can hold a lot of current going through and get some uh, temperature to slow down your wind turbine so to demonstrate to you, oh my goodness oh my goodness everything is boom my camera goes freak out all right sometimes crazy things happens okay so as you can see my current voltage is 26.3 uh, and to demonstrate to you how the braking system works i will go into options and i will go into options number five so the over charge um, protection voltage and i will go down uh, below my current voltage so now i'm telling the machine this controller stop charging when the voltage on the battery is 26 volts pressing and holding ok and now if i start to oh my goodness as you can see the brake is in here on the screen and i'm even not able to move because now all the energy from wind turbine goes into dump load so the braking system works and this is basically what i wanted to show you of course we don't want to work on such uh, low voltages for my lithium iron phosphate so i'm pressing and holding ok and now i'm going into option number five and i will increase uh, to my batteries uh, i want to be a little below the possible of lithium iron phosphate because i want the controller to stop charging before the bms in the battery stop charging uh, so now i'm pressing and holding ok and we are done so basically i think it will be all for this part one of this wind solar hybrid system controller so uh, what i can say well the screen is very nice and everything is clear and nice and clear the build is also really cool so this alloy cover in here uh, some of this maybe should be hidden uh, but compact size multi-purpose i mean solar plus wind 
and the braking system works as expected so in B0 mode when you have user defined uh, battery you can do whatever you need all right so my gimbal is actually stop cooperating so it's a sign to end this video so it was the test of this uh, braking system but also so uh, wiring uh, introduction in this controller so if you have any particular question just give me a comment and i will create another video on this topic so thanks for watching it was of great serious on my copper silver and steel channel see you later